so we will solve the third problem <coughs> so a hexagonal prism of base of side 30 mm and axis 60 mm resting on the ground on its base with a base side parallel to the wall so here hexagon is base side is parallel to the wall draw the projection of the prism and determine the true length of its longest diagonal so we have to determine the longest diagonal so we will move on to AutoCAD so same process units zero millimeter okay limits zero comma zero two ninety seven mark two ten enter now next is zoom Coding is over. Now here in this uh, standard, we don't have hexagonal shape. So for this one, this problem, what we have to do is we have to draw a hexagon. So using drawing tool. So here poly polygon. So select polygon. Now it is asking number of sides. So six sides. Enter. Now specify the center point and uh, dimension of this hexagon is 30 mm. Okay. So 30 mm. So edge. So we will specify the first point and it is parallel. So when it is parallel, we will get the hexagon in this shape. If it is perpendicular, you have to make the hexagon in this shape. Okay. Now, in this problem, uh, the base is parallel. So, you will get this shape. Now, edge size is 30 mm. Type 30. Enter. Now, hexagon is created. Now, here, to prolong into a solid object, first now we have created only 2-dimensional two two drawing. Now, we have to convert this 2-dimensional drawing into a 3D. So, for that, we are using a command called Explode. So here you can see that's a command explode. So general meaning of explode is a material, uh, a metal or a plastic to force it through a die. So for example, uh, toothpaste. Okay, the toothpaste it is forced through a hole. Okay, and you are getting a circular in shape of solid object. So same way the meaning is explode. So here will extrude this so we will click on this extrude or you can give extrude command to select the object okay now we have selected the object enter now it is asking what is the height so 60 mm so we have to keep type 60 enter okay so before that i forgot to explain so here this true shape is visible okay the two shape is seen in top view. So default top view. So we have set in top view. Now when you convert this into conceptual and into isometric, you can see the solid object. Okay, solid object is created. That is three-dimensional drawing is created. So here we have used the extrude command. So new command which we are learning now is extrude. Okay, so now again you can go back to top view and uh, two dimensional and you can zoom out. Now the solid is created, whether any rotation is given, nothing. Okay, it is uh, resting on the ground and simple, uh, nothing else. Okay, it is resting on the ground with base, so there is no rotation, nothing. So now we have to go to First angle projection, set it to first angle, click OK. <coughs> now, layout, we have to bring it to the layout. So, click base, model space. Now, we are selecting the object, enter. Now, if you want to give, create a new layout, you can give or you can bring this model to the layout one. So, I will bring this to layout one because previous two problems we have seen how to create a new layout. Now I am giving default layout 1. 
now in layout one we are bringing the object so now there is no additional layout here so anyway layout one is empty so we are bringing here so click here so print view so enter now top view enter so print and top view are done so we want side view also so before side view we should not press enter so again i am going to the model space so i think this is in first angle okay so base model space now select the model enter okay so now layout two okay so layout two or five point three enter so five point three is created so click here enter now again top view now we should not press enter previously I pressed enter so it got closed. For this diagram, we need side view. So side view, enter, uh, click, and next isometric view. This is not required. So for understanding purpose, I'm clicking the now finally enter. Now front view, top view, and left side view we are getting. Now naming the component and marking the diagram. So in this problem, they are asked to mention the mark the diagram. Now, uh, line, okay, so it is resting on HP, so we we'll get the reference line, XY line, now naming the component, so top view will start, so an uh, annotate, so here you can find text, single line text, click single line text, and it is asking starting point, and uh, enter now it is asking height okay. so default so here x y reference line now here we will mark the stop view so we will use a b c d a so top view sorry for a b B, e, yeah. So this is the top face. Now bottom, bottom face will mark it as numbers or letters, anything. So one. So inside bracket. Six sides. Okay. Six. Six. Now we have to project to the print view. So again text. Specify the point. So, we'll, uh, so this is F. So this is F. So this point is F dash. Next point. This point is. A and E. E is hidden. So A will be outside. So A dash inside brackets 
e dash next this point next point here that is b dash inside bracket that is t dash and finally this line is projected this is c dash so this point is projected so these are the top Face. Now here, this we have numbered. So this will be what? Six, six dash, and this will be what? One, and five dash, one dash, inside brackets, five dash. This one will be two dash. Inside brackets, four dash, and the final here. This will be three dash. Now this marking is over. now side view. So side view. So this is the top view. So this corner, this corner represents to this part. So it is belongs to four and five dash. So it belongs to four one dash, four suffix one dash and five dash. So this corner. So so four one dash. This one, uh, so inside brackets. So, or we will mark double dash. Mark it as uh, it is confusion for four double dash and by double dash inside bracket and this one belongs to three and six so three is visible so three double dash inside bracket six will be hidden so six double dash and the last this point belongs to this line so this one is two double dash one double dash so this is the bottom point now the top so top belongs to Letters. Okay, so top face we have marked using letters. So this H is. So what are this left hand side view? So from this left side, whatever we are able to see. So side is D dash D double dash inside bracket E double dash. Next one, this one is C, C double dash inside bracket, yep, double dash. Finally, this one is B and A, B double dash inside bracket A. So the rings are over now. Dimensions. So linear 
linear dimensions escape so linear dimensions so this is 60 this is 30 mm diagonal we are asked to mark The diagonal we are asked to mark. So, this is a top view, front view, and left side view. What you can type? So, top view, top view, left view. So, I think this is what is the problem number two. Okay. If you have any doubts, leave uh, in the comments. Thank you.